very bulky, very nice. Beef and chew, very good. Hi, and welcome to Spice and Pans. Today we'll be cooking Singapore noodles or San Zhao Cao Mai Fan. So let's start cooking. Now we'll prepare the curry paste for the vermicelli. I have with me over here 50 milliliters of water. Add in three tablespoons of curry powder. Mix them up well. Why do we need to mix this in water? Because curry powder burns easily. So with the aid of water, it will not burn. Just mix it up well, and then we'll set this aside. Next, we'll prepare the seasoning for the vermicelli. I have with me over here 100 milliliters of warm water. Add in one tablespoon of oyster sauce. Two tablespoons of light soy sauce. Half a teaspoon of sugar. One teaspoon of salt. One teaspoon of chicken stock powder. As well as a few dashes of white pepper. Mix them up well and we'll set this aside. I'll show you the next step after this. Now we'll put our dish together. Heat up your pan. We're going to scramble some eggs first. Add in a good amount of oil. Swirl the oil around. Add in three beaten eggs. Using medium heat, we'll scramble the eggs. Once they are cooked like this, we will set them aside. Still keeping the heat at medium, add in more oil. We are going to pan fry our shrimp now, or prawns. Add in 120 grams of prawns, the shell. Spread them out. We just need to cook them. Once they turn red, that means they are done already. Prawns cook pretty fast, especially small ones like this. Once they are cooked, we we'll remove them from the heat and set them aside. Maintaining the heat at medium, we will fry our bean sprouts. These are soybean sprouts, so we need to fry them first. 120 grams of this, get rid of the rawness. Just fry them around until they are a little bit brown. Now if you are using normal bean sprouts or the smaller bean sprout, which is known as mung bean sprout or green bean sprouts, you don't have to cook this first. You can cook them together with vermicelli. The reason we are cooking this first is because they are bigger and thicker and we need to get rid of the rawness. Okay. Once they have changed colour like this, we remove them from the heat. Now we assemble the whole dish together using medium-low heat, add in a good amount of oil. A little bit more is okay because we need to fry the curry paste. Add in half a red onion, sliced thinly like this. The stem of a spring onion Julienne, put it into. Fry them until fragrant. Now don't turn the heat up too high. We want to flavor the oil with the beautiful onions and spring onions. Still using medium low heat. Don't turn it up. Once you can smell them, we'll add in our garlic. Four cloves of garlic chopped, put it in. Still stir them around. We just fry them until they are fragrant. Once you can smell them, we put in our curry paste. Add in your curry paste, still maintaining the heat at medium low. Mix them up for a while. And when you see the paste bubbling up like this, we'll put in our vermicelli. I have with me over here 180 grams of vermicelli that is soaked. The weight is pre-soaked. We just need to soak this in water for approximately 10-15 minutes. There's a lot of brand of vermicelli in the market. For what I'm using over here is Sing Tzu Mi Fan this from Taiwan. I just need to soak this for about 10-15 minutes. Some other vermicelli require you to soak at least half an hour to an hour to get it softened up. Just mix them up well. Now we can turn the heat to medium. Make sure that the vermicelli has contact with the curry paste. We want it to be coated beautifully with the curry paste. Although the name of this is Singapore noodles, 
but actually you cannot really find this dish in Singapore. It's pretty unique to Hong Kong and parts of uh, US. Once you have mixed them up well, we'll add in our seasonings. Pour everything in. We'll pour in our eggs, the prawns, as well as the bean sprout. Add in also half a capsicum, julienne, thinly like this, and the rest of the spring onions. Put it in. Add in 150 grams of char siu, julienne, thinly like this also. Put everything in. Now we just need to mix them all up. Look at how beautiful this is. I'll recommend you to use a pair of chopsticks to fry this up because it's easier to mix them up. We just need to fry them until they are a little bit dry. This is a very delicious way of cooking your vermicelli or noodles. How do you know whether your vermicelli is cooked? Basically, they have to soft them up like this. Right? That means they are pretty much done. What we are doing right now is just to incorporate all the ingredients together and get the flavour into the vermicelli. Alright, once we don't see any more liquid over here, that means this is pretty done already. Now, don't be hurry to remove the vermicelli from the pan. Put the lid on, turn off the heat, we'll wait for a minute and then we'll have our lunch. The reason why I'm doing this is because the vermicelli will absorb the steam back again and become more bouncy. It's time for our lunch. And now the dish is done, let's have a taste. Oh, it smells really good. I love this curry flavour and fragrance that's coming out from here. Really, really nice. Ooh. Mmm. What is very nice about this is the very nice fragrance that's coming out from the curry powder. The aromatics from the onions, the garlic. This is really, really nice. So ladies and gentlemen, I hope you enjoyed our video. Do click like on our video and do subscribe to our channel. And now it's your turn to cook. See you. Bye bye. Oh, xiang. Very nice.